Alrighty, so today we're going to be looking at how to calculate the distance on a great circle. So what are the great circles? Well, this is the Earth. The first great circle is one of the ones that we actually already know, which is the equator. The equator is a great circle. Why? Well, for it to be a great circle, it just needs to be a circle in which the centre of the Earth is its centre. Basically meaning it's the biggest circle that you can make on the Earth. But that's actually not the only great circle. And in fact, it's the odd one out, because if you look at the other li uh, lines of latitude, let's take this one, for example, slightly north, you'll actually notice that this parallel of latitude is slightly smaller, not by a lot, but slightly smaller than the equator. When you look at a more extreme version of this, let's say right near the pole, right up here, you can see that this circle would be even smaller. So the only great circle out of our parallels of latitude is the equator. So then where did the other great circles come from? Well the rest of them are all our meridians of longitude, starting with our prime meridian and our anti-meridian. And all of these ones, which run this way, let me get rid of all of the, the back dotted line, all of these meridians of longitude are all going to be great circles because they're all exactly the same. They all cut in the exact same way. They're just sort of like rotating around. So what does this mean for actually calculating it? Well, let's imagine we take two places. Let's say 40 degrees north, 35 degrees west, and 20 degrees south, 35 degrees west. Well, since great circles are all the same size, we can actually work out how much a degree is in distance, in kilometres. And each degree on the Earth is equal to 111.2 kilometres. One degree equals that. Only on great circles, though. This isn't a general rule. And so we can write this as a formula, which is that the distance is equal to 111.2 times the angular distance, which is our first distance formula. Distance is equal to 111.2 times angular distance. So, step one, we need to work at the angular distance. We don't know that yet. So let's have a look. Now, how do we know we're using this one? Well, the reason we know that is because since they're on the same line of longitude, they both have the same longitude coordinate, that means we are going to be using this one. And since they're different, we're going to be adding for the angular distance. So 40 plus 20 equals 60 degrees. And so the distance is equal to 111.2 times 60, which is equal to 6,672 kilometres. Alrighty. So that's the distance between these two locations, place A and place B. Let's have a look at another one. What if instead I had 35 degrees north, 120 degrees east, and... 10 degrees north, 120 degrees east. Well, once again, the match is in between the second thing. Um, since they're the same, they're both north, I'm going to be multiplying, oh, sorry, subtracting. So it's going to be AD is equal to 35 minus 10, 25 degrees. And distance is equal to 111.2 times AD. 111.2 times 25 equals 2,780 kilometres. Alrighty, so that's how we work at distance. I'm going to show you one more example just because what if we had to deal with minutes as well? Alrighty, so in this case, the match is between the 120 degrees west. Um, since they're both south, that means we're going to be subtracting for the angular distance. So AD is going to be equal to 38 degrees and 15 minutes minus 15 degrees and 45 minutes. Once again, I often find that uh, to work this out, you can either use your calculator or, again, you can do vertical. Subtract 15 degrees, 45 minutes. Problem, same problem we ran into last time, which is you can't take 45 off 15. So we need to make 15 bigger by trading one of these degrees into 
60. So we get 37 degrees, 60 and 15, minus 15 degrees, 45 minutes. So these two together make 75 minutes. 45 of 75 is 30. 15 of 37 is 22. And we get 22 degrees and 30 minutes. But the problem is, the rule says distance is equal to 111.2 times angular distance, right? But the problem here is that my angular distance isn't in decimal. It's in degrees and minutes. So I need to turn this into degrees and minutes. And the way to do that is you go 22 degrees plus 30 over 60 degrees. So that's how you can convert from minutes into degrees. You just divide by 60. Since it's 30 minutes, 30 over 60. So we get 111.2 times 22 plus 30 over 60. And that's equal to 2,502 kilometres. And there's our final answer, 2,502 kilometres. Alrighty, so there is a little bit of practice in getting our way through some of this slightly more complicated stuff. Just make sure that when you're using this formula, you can only do it if the longitude matches. Alrighty, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.